A very warm welcome everyone in this undersea adventure. My name is Nick and this is the Titanic, or Titanic on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published first uh, by Topsoft in 1988 in Spain I believe, and re-released by Kix in the UK and beyond. Heavily influenced by Scuba Dive I think from Drill Software which is five years earlier. So let's see how this one compares. Also come out on the Amstrad CPC and uh, there was a version on DOS three years later but doesn't bear too much resemblance to like this, the, the maps are a bit different. But the idea is you've got a new suit for deep sea diving and you should use it to search for the Titanic, wherever that may be, and uh, find secrets hidden in that lost ship. All the way you have to fight sea creatures, or at least uh, avoid them, uh, and it's in two parts this game. First find the Titanic and then explore the Titanic. So I'm just trying to get used to the control systems here because it is quite unique. Yeah, bit of colour bleed, but as you can see already the graphics are much more advanced than scuba dive and we start underwater straight away. Uh, if we run out of oxygen we're, we're dead. We've got a limited amount of harpoons represented by those arrows there and those uh, logos in the yellow are our lives left. You can collect air as you go along. Uh, too much collisions with the uh, wildlife and you're dead. Now I do know a cheat for this game, oh I'm dead already, I do know a cheat for this game so most likely at some point I'm going to use it because I'm not going to get very far. Scuba Dive was a classic from 83. Um, the sprites are much bigger on this one, it's a bit more cavernous. More, more detail in the rocks, uh, Scuba Dive was just red, this has got lots of detail. But I think I do prefer Scuba Dive just for that classic stupid action. Hooray! But this is quite good as well, look at the graphics, the sea life is brilliant. Uh, although the control system takes a bit of getting used to, it's quite nice. Oh, toxic poisoning, so I won't go here again. So it's an exploration game to try and find the ship and it's somewhere in this ma uh, this crazy cavern. Now a map would be useful, but I haven't got one. So if we find the Titanic, it will be just by random. Right, I've got one life left. Can I do it? Limited amount of harpoons. Let's get over this grabby thing. Underwater is very dangerous, isn't it? So I don't know how this bloke got there, but look at the graphics on his flipper action. That's good. Oh, I'm dead or red? Right, okay. A cheat is required here, I think. We got what we got. This is our last life, and then we're we're back to the beginning again. Haven't seen this on the Amstrad CPC, but I guess it plays diff uh, well similar uh, eight-bit systems. Didn't come out on the Commodore 64, as far as I'm aware. Now this deep sea diving suit is supposed to be pretty advanced. Why we couldn't just use a submarine to search for the Titanic, I don't know. But I don't know what hidden things are on this uh, Titanic. It was a cr luxury cruise liner. Um, I, what could be a secret in there rather than just riches? That guy's... Oh, see, I got chomped by a shark in pieces. Your skeleton is now part of the cold depths. Try again. Arr. Well, well, we will put the poke in this time. Hmm. That crowbar work looks a bit like Stunt Car Racer. Du, 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 du. I like this music. Ba ba ba. Good, right, let's put the poke in. We can do this thing. So, joystick or keyboard? Joystick's probably a little bit easier. Will we find the secrets in the hidden lost Titanic ship? Maybe. Right, now this cheat I've put in is for infinite... Um, well, immunity to the sea beasts, but I still think I can run out of oxygen, so I haven't got unlimited time here. Um, everywhere looks roughly the same, I could get lost quite quickly. Scrolls quite well this, moves pretty fast. I'm a fan, I like this one. This come by a recommendation, I wouldn't have done it normally. Uh, game might have had a sequel, I'm not sure about that. So whoever recommended that one, well done, thank you. What's this, can I pick that up? I'm sure there is a way to pick that up, but I don't know what it is, because um, I've got no instructions for this game, unfortunately. All I know is roughly what to do. Will I do it? I uh, don't know. No giant octopuses that I can see that were apparent in Scuba Dive. So check that review out I've done. Or check out, it's best to check out the revisited one, because I did two reviews of it. One uh, quite early on in the channel when my sound wasn't good and revisited when it's a bit better. But the animation on this one is far superior. But I, as I say, I still prefer Scuba Dive. Oh, why can't I pick up that oxygen? There must be a way of doing it. Let me know below. What button do I press to pick up that oxygen if you are aware of Titanic? Now, I don't think this was a blockbuster game at the time until someone recommended it. I'd never heard of it, but I wish I had because it's really quite nice. Late 80s, 1988. 48k this. 
Graphics are good. Uh, occasionally you'll see a body or a clam. The enemy do tend to repeat themselves a bit, but there's a lot going on on the screen at the same time. There's no sort of areas of quietness. Now, normally I'd die here, but we've got immunity to this toxic radiation that man has dumped. Any steady progress to pollute the whole planet so nothing can live on it. Well done, man. Well, there's some oxygen there. I think normally there'd be a button you can press to replenish that, unless I'm going loopy. Yeah, collision detection's pretty good on this. Um, jagged rock work, it's not all square. It's programmed really well. Good game. Good game, as Bruce Forsythe used to say, if you're aware of the great man's work. But I would have died a hundred times by now. I died a hundred times. Da -dun -da -da. Amy Winehouse. There we go. Ah, uh, right, where am I going? I'm swimming around aimlessly. Where is a map? We need a map here. Right, I've got no harpoons left. But I've got immunity to all sea creatures, so it's probably okay. Swim, 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 and he swim. This guy's very brave, out on his own. That shark chomped us last time, but not this time. He's got stuck on the rock work. Right, this is new. I don't think I've been here before, have I? Could quite easily go into a dead end. Right, we're making progress. Where is the Titanic? How did the Titanic get through here? Now, the Titanic, I believe, split in two and sunk to the bottom. There's no way it could have weaved itself through loads of caverns. Oh, I'm dead. How did that happen? I ran out of oxygen, I suppose. There's no way it could have weaved round caverns and found itself at the bottom of here. But the game, the game would have been a bit boring if you just swam straight downwards and found it. You say, find the Titanic, swim straight downwards for about, I don't know, 20 minutes, and then you've got it. It says, end of game. We will find the Titanic, will we? In this game, I mean. Right. Well, that's a dead end. There can only be a limited amount of, of spaces. I don't think the map can be huge. But it's nice that it scrolls scrolls around. It scrolls well. Um, it doesn't update. It just scrolls with the character. So he stays roughly in the same position in the screen the whole time, which is quite good. Yeah. That is clever. That is, that is clever to do on a ZX Spectrum, really tricky to code, to move the scenery smoothly uh, for the time. Yeah, brilliant. Really well executed this game. I'm not sure it won any awards, but maybe it should have done. The design is excellent. If you look on the display right down the bottom, there's those two blue globy things. They're, they're well um, shaded, they didn't need to do that, but it's added a bit of depth to it. Yeah, great. Whoever did the graphics on this, well done. Top soft. You, you've done really well. I'll have to see what other games they did, actually, if they're of this quality. Kaboom! Right. I wonder if they just did maze games. Let me know below. What other games did Topsoft do? I'm sure I could look it up, but it gives, gives you something to do, doesn't it? Hooray! And I'm completely and utterly lost. If I was underwater for real lost, I'd be panicking by now. Get on my radio. Is this a new area? N mm. What are those blue things? They're supposed to be some sort of crazy, deadly sea anemone. Ah, uh, that's a jellyfish stingray. I think it's a stingray there, isn't it? Stingray, stingray, did it, did it. That was a top show, wasn't it? Stingray. By the puppeteers who did um, Thunderbirds. Jerry Anderson. Was it Gary Anderson? No, Jerry Anderson. I, is there a Stingray game? I'd have to check that out. There is. I haven't come across it. I have to look it up. Stingray on the ZX Spectrum or Amiga on Game Boy Advance. Did that ever make it? Should have done. Good good music. Stingray, Stingray, did it, did it. Or maybe all of them. Fireball XL5. That was good as well, wasn't it? Fireball XL5. Yeah. If you're below the age of 25, you probably don't know those. But if you're as old as me, <laughs> yeah, you're aware of them. Look at them up. They're great. You probably you probably know Thunderbirds because that got rebooted recently, but you can't beat the old puppets. Um, as I swim around, still looking for the Titanic, cooey. Maybe some sort of like detector would help, some sort of sonar. But this guy hasn't got sonar. Although he's got an advanced diving suit, he doesn't seem to have a sonar to detect anything. Ninkum poop. Uh, I must have explored this whole thing by now. The Titanic must be at the bottom, mustn't it? Logically. Just keep heading down. Deeper and down. Oh, I've died. I was making good... Pro oh, back to the start again. There's no save points. I was making good progress there. Right, this is it now. It's now or never. Mind you, we've got two lives left. Right. It's trying to remember where I've been before. 
do this second like a second down let's go down here might have been here before many times if you've completed this game let me know what's the quickest time you've done it in but I'm guessing I might be wrong I'm guessing not many people would have come across this but it's a shame really because it's, it's brilliant graphically G gameplay gameplay you have to be of a mind that you like exploring because it's a little bit slow in that respect um, I'm only really enjoying it I suppose because I've got a cheat on um, I died pretty quick without it on I suppose but uh, sometimes I have to put a poke on otherwise I wouldn't be able to show you any of the game and um, if you're reviewing game playing something uh, and only showing about the first 10 seconds it's a bit pointless so this is this is what without the poke on you should aim to get to obviously be a bit better game playing than me um, hello maybe that squid thing can help me can anyone help me I don't mean anyone can help me here not even the, some, the god of the ocean Poseidon with his big uh, trident of doom right okay oh this looks good ah uh, through there through the seaweed right just keep going down down deeper and down here we go who's that fella yay there, there's a boat that's a ship isn't it have we found it? Is that the Titanic? It must be the Titanic. I can't think of any other boat. Now what happens? Nothing. <laughs> right, I think I think because I've got the cheat on or a poke on, I think it's not letting me get in past. But this at this point it gives you a code for part two of the game. If I can't get through here, I I would probably do a sometime later and jump forward. Let me in. I should be able to go through that hole, should I not? And then we're in the sh Yeah, there's a way of getting in that hole, but I haven't got it. Right, folks, we're lo we've loaded part two, and now we're in the Titanic. Where am I? Was that me at the top there? I don't think graphically this is going to work that well. Where am I? I can't even see myself. Oh, that's me there at the top. So I've just got into the Titanic. Yeah, this is hopeless. <laughs> part two's hopeless. Uh, this colour scheme's not working. Green? Yeah, this is horrendous. Oh, the first point of the game was excellent. It was like... Oh, I've died. I need to get the cheat again. The first part, the first part of this game was was great. Um, a throwback to scuba dive, like a more advanced version, uh, with the red and the black. This green and the blue are, yeah, it's not happening, is it? Hmm. If he was walking around running, it reminds me a bit like um saboteur this bit. But as a swimming thing, it, yeah. Right, let's see how far I can get here. I can't really see what I can swim through and what I can't. It's very busy. Some chandeliers. Is this what the Titanic looks like? There's lots of fish in here now. Yep. Yeah. I'm not sure if I've opened these or just going through. There's octopi or octopuses. Flip, flip, flap, flop, flip, flap, swip. We're going to swim on a swim cruise. There's no there's no dead bodies in here, so it isn't that gruesome. Which is, thank goodness for that. Can't get through there. Let me throw. Right. No, no part one good, part two annoying. Yeah, it's because it, yeah. it's there's lots of different colours, I think. it's It makes it hard to see stuff. When it's hard to see stuff, it, it gets a bit frustrating. Um, I don't think there's any way out of here, is there? Lots of things are smashed and corroded. I'm not sure if it's green because the Titanic was green, or um, that's just some weird decor. Maybe it's some, uh, maybe it's some algae. Um, algae has drifted here. Maybe if it had been all a black background, it might have worked better, and the scuba diver was yellow or something. This black colour is not good. There's a chest of drawers there. Right, I think we'll leave it there. I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Titanic on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Topsoft in 1988 and re-released by Kix in the UK. Thanks for watching that one as always. If you've got any comments about this game or similar games, then please put them below. And to next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.